got a 2006 Yamaha YZ450F that we purchased used and we're going to go through this uh, vehicle and uh, show you all the Prox products that we have to offer. Here in our next segment with our YZ450, we're going to disassemble the cylinder head and replace the valves with high quality stainless steel replacement kits from Prox. Let's get started. Okay, we've got the cylinder head removed from the engine, so the next thing what we want to do is take a good close look at the condition of everything. So what we want to do is carefully turn the head over. You want to do that cautiously because the, uh, the cam caps are, are removed here and we don't want the shim buckets to fall out. So as we flip this over and we look at the condition of the head, what we're judging is the carbon buildup. We're looking for any damage that might potentially be there. Uh, what we're going to have to do is clean the cylinder head and there's various ways you can do that. You want to remove the carbon from everything and you also want to remove all this gasket material for when we go to reassemble the head. Now that we're inspecting the cylinder head, another thing to look for, very carefully uh, remove the shim bucket from above the uh, valve spring in the cylinder head. And what you're going to want to do as you're removing that bucket is feel for any rough movement which indicates that it's maybe binding in there. You want to make sure that that moves very smoothly. Another thing that you can do is gently uh, put your uh, fingernail against the bucket to feel for any ridges. Now those are an indication of excess wear, so that's a good thing to look for in case you need to replace those as you're doing your uh, final head inspection. We're also going to look at some options for valves using the Prox product line. We have several to show you. So that'll be the next thing we do after we disassemble the valves from the cylinder head. We verified that the valve seats in our cylinder head and are in very good condition and, and usable with our uh, valve kit. So what we've got here is a Prox stainless steel replacement valve kit. These are a great value package. We include everything in the box that you need. Uh, the stainless steel valve for both the intake and exhaust side on this particular model. We also include the valve springs, which are very key to this kit. The spring is rated to match the valve. The valve is heavier because it's made from steel, so you need to replace the spring also. That's very important that you don't try to reuse the old springs that are from the titanium valves when replacing it with steel valves. So that's a very key item. And uh, these are very high quality package and uh, very durable for those riders that uh, want to get more life out of their engine without a you know, the added expense, they can purchase the Prox uh, stainless steel replacement kits. A quick tip before you assemble your cylinder head with your new valves is to take the new valve and install it in the valve guide. And what you're going to do is quickly check both the run out by twirling the valve or, or trying to move the valve in the valve guide and also pulling on the valve with your finger on the back side of the valve guide and feeling for suction. What that does is kind of give you an idea of the health of your valve guide with the new valve. So this is a good quick check for you to try. We've disassembled the engine and we've inspected all the critical components and now we're almost ready to go back together. We've got a Prox top end gasket kit. Now this gasket kit includes the base gasket, head gasket, and all the other seals, intake, uh, exhaust, and uh, also the valve seals. So it's very important that you remove all the old residue from all the surfaces before you use your new gaskets to assure that everything seals up well and then you're ready to go. We've assembled the uh, top end of the, of the engine with our new Prox piston kit. And we've also installed our Prox stainless steel valve and spring kit. And we're finally buttoning up the engine. So what you're gonna wanna check last is the timing of the cams to the crankshaft. So you'll see a mark on the crankshaft that, that has to be aligned and also the marks on the camshaft. So what you wanna do is check your OEM service manual to verify what those locations are. You wanna make sure now that that's 100% right before we finish the assembly and once we do that we're uh, we're ready to go. We're here with our YZ450 engine and we're ready to inspect the valve clearance and we've got our feeler gauges so next steps we'll go in and measure that and check it against the OEM service manual. After you've measured your valve clearance and you have to make adjustments a Prox shim kit contains all the various sizes that you need to make those adjustments from what you measured so this kit contains all the sizes that you need and, and gets you going. <music>